What's going on there, YouTube, and welcome back to another comic book video. Okay, so we are going to continue our coverage over Ultimate Black Panther, and we pick up with the second issue. Now, the second issue does pick up where the last one left off at, and remember, when it comes to the Ultimate Marvel Universe, it was technically created by the maker, who went back in time to make sure the universe came out in his own image. But the problem is the maker got locked away in his city and so now you have his council trying to control different parts of the world. Now when it comes to Africa you have two people of the council trying to watch over that area that will be Ra and Kanchu and when they work together they made an organization called the Moon Knights. Now when it comes to Black Panther in our last video one of the Moon Knights snuck into Wakanda as a suicide bomber and try to kill off T'Challa. Now he was saved by his father but his father died in that explosion and so now it's Black Panther trying to find the enemies to hopefully take them down. And so as we dive into the second issue of this series we do pick up with T'Challa with his wife Okoye in their room having a conversation. Now we do learn a lot from this conversation. See, when it comes to Black Panther, in the 30 days since his father's death, he had learned that there was a traitor in his nation. And so he had begun to go around and grab random people that he or others may believe could be the traitor. And that's a problem because now you have the people of Wakanda beginning to lose their trust in their king. Now, when it comes to Black Panther, he says, listen, all I'm trying to do is protect my nation. But you have Okoye say, no, you are a scared man. And he says, no, I'm not scared, I'm angry. But she says, no, you are both. Because in reality, fear is just anger. You are so scared of the idea that you are not going to be able to honor your father, but you're also mad at yourself that you did not take all the warnings that were given to you about our enemies into consideration. And so now you're mad, but also scared that you may fail. And for T'Challa, he takes those words to heart because now he's beginning to wonder how he is as a king for Wakanda. How does the people think of him as king of Wakanda? Now he does end their conversation by telling her that he has a meeting with the Vodou Khan. Now when it comes to Okoye, she tells Black Panther, listen, you may go to that meeting, but you have to realize they're not here in Wakanda to serve you. They're only here to serve the prophecies of Wakanda, meaning that you really cannot trust that group at all. They're only here for their own personal reasons. Now, in our last video, we have learned that Black Panther does not trust the Vodou Khan because they were a group of people who use magic. But this is Black Panther saying that was 30 days ago. Right now, I need any kind of answers I can get that could possibly help me protect my kingdom, but to also bring down my enemy. Now, he does meet up with the leader of the group, and that would be Amala. Now, when it comes to Amala, she had a vision recently. She saw a future for Black Panther, where apparently in the middle of a war, he does meet a woman of light. And when they do meet, a bond will be born to the point where that person, the woman of light, is going to give Black Panther a child. But the question is right now, who is the woman of light? We did pick up with Ra and Khonshu. Now, Ra and Khonshu are having a meeting with their spy in Wakanda. Now, here's the thing. Ra and Khonshu, they don't trust their spy at all. But they don't have a choice here because, like I said earlier, they have been left in charge over Africa and they have been causing problems for all countries across Africa except Wakanda. Wakanda is the last country standing in their way. And so, honestly, they have no choice here. They have to let the spy 
go out of their way to gather information to help them bring down Wakanda, even though they don't trust the spy at all. But you do have a spy say, the war has to continue on. With the war happening, I am able to move around in the shadows and gather more and more information for you. But I want to see Wakanda fall. I want to see T'Challa removed as king of Wakanda. We then jump back over to Black Panther. Now, when we do, is Black Panther inside his war room. Now, in the war room is him and the few people that he trusts. Now, this is where we learn a tad bit more information about Ra and Khonshu. See, the reason why they have been attacking the different villages across Wakanda is because in those small villages, you had mines. Those mines were full of vibranium, a special kind of metal that Ra and Khonshu want really bad. And Wakanda has a huge amount of it. And that is why they have been attacking Wakanda over and over and over again. Now, luckily for T'Challa, two members of his council is able to say, we have found the base of Ra and Khonshu because we realize that animals are trying to avoid a certain area, but also that area has changed for unknown reasons, which means there is a base there that belongs to Ra and Khonshu. Now, when it comes to Black Panther, he says, great, I'll head there right now, but I'm going alone. I want everyone here to stay here and protect Wakanda just in case something happens to me. And he walks away. But here comes the problem. See, when Black Panther arrives at that location, he gets ambushed by a group of soldiers who were able to surround him and just start firing at him. Now, luckily for Black Panther, his armor is protecting him, but sooner or later, that armor is going to lose that ability. And so it really looks like, okay, this could be the end for T'Challa. It seems like Shuri, might become the next Black Panther, except he is saved at the very last minute by Ultimate Storm. And when he sees her, he's all like, oh my God, woman of light. But also, this could bring, bring in a lot of problems for Black Panther in his marriage. But this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please leave me a like down below and subscribe. But guys, see y'all next time. Later.